Welcome everyone, I'm your host Logan23, you're joining me for Word Chapters Interactive Stories, Hide and Seek Chapter 6. Strange things have filled the house and your dreams. And there's a strange abandoned house nearby that might hold the secrets to the mysteries in the house. I'm gonna find out what's going on around here, even if I have to check every brick in that abandoned house. You notice that the abandoned house is ahead. You head towards it. It takes about 15 minutes to get to the abandoned house. Ooh, feel free to screenshot that. It's creepy. You arrive at the house. The paint had worn off and the windows are broken. I don't know if I should go in there. It doesn't seem safe. And then you hear something. Noises like other feet shuffling from within. You move up to the window and get a better look. And that's when you see... Ready or not, here I come. And then he sees you. You both freeze. There's a tense standoff until finally... He says, Violet, time out. Someone is here. And then a pretty girl your age walks out. She looks right at you. Well, looks like you found us. I just don't know why it took you so long. And then suddenly, a boy and another girl walk out. Four kids around your age, and they're playing hide-and-seek. If they don't attack you, you might just finally have found what you've been looking for. Friends? Or at least I hope so. So now that you've found us, what are you gonna do? What do you mean? You gonna tell on us? Quiet, Tate. Don't put any ideas in her head. The two younger kids look like they're friends, but the older guy looks more like an authority figure. Both of you be quiet. Before you say something, you shouldn't. But it was obvious that the real boss was the girl your age they call Violet. So, who are you anyway? That's an interesting question. Violet. Well, that wasn't hard to figure out. They all did call me to come out here. So, are you going to tell us your name? Oh, me? I'm... None of your damn business. Just looking for friends. Well, then you found the right bunch. But we can't be friends if we don't know what to call you. Oh, you can call me on my cell phone. That's not what I meant. He meant you should tell us your name. I know. I'm just joking with you guys. That is... This is the part where you tell us your name? My name is Emily. Hello, Emily. Come join us. What are you guys doing? Playing. Oh, hello there. Hi, I'm Carol Ann. How old are you? I'm 14. I'm 10. I'm the youngest one here. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm 11 years old, and this is my brother Joseph. She's so cute. She sounds just like Jess from Toy Story. He's just a bit shy, but he's just about the coolest guy you've ever met, done met. Ever done met? Yeehaw! Yeehaw, cowboy! <laughs> Jess removes his hands out of his pockets only to fiddle with his hair. How old is he? I'm 16. See, he can talk. He just needs some getting used to you. Well, thank you for letting me know your ages. I don't want to be left out. I'm 14, the same age as you. Where are you coming from? I live over there with the Harmons. In that big house? Yeah. Violet and Jasper get very quiet and look at you strangely. Should I... Jasper, no. You want to see what they were about to say, but Tate yanks at your arm. How many rooms they got in there? I'm not sure. I bet it's a lot, like a million. Like a bazillion. Like a bazillion bazillion. Tate and Caroline break out into a giggle fit. Okay, you little rascals. That's enough. Emily is our guest. She doesn't want to see you poking fun. Oh, I don't mind. 
I'd give a whole cow to live in that big old place like that. It's not as exciting as you think. Violet walks in and stops the younger kids from smothering you with questions. It's probably lonely over there, living in a big house in the middle of nowhere with no friends. She hit the nail on the head. Exactly. Jasper finally opens his mouth to speak again. We have to go. Come on, guys. So soon? I only just got here. Yeah, it's getting late. You would have played hide-and-seek. Probably for God knows how long, but suddenly I get there. Nope, gotta go. Jasper, Tate, and Caroline say their goodbyes and walk out, but Violet stays behind. I didn't know the Harmons had another daughter. They adopted us, my little brother and I. He's six. Is he around? Not here. He's back in the house. He doesn't really leave it that much. How long have you been living there? Only a couple months. I thought I'd be in school right now, but I guess I'm getting homeschooled. Whenever a teacher shows up, I guess I won't see you around school then. No, hey, are you out here a lot? Pretty much every day. You ever see the Harmon's daughter? I don't know what happened to her, and they don't say. She shakes her head and walks over to a broken chair on the porch. You haven't? I've seen her around before, but just not lately. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Maybe she ran off? Maybe she wasn't happy in a big old place by herself? She knows more than she's saying. I bet you get lonely over there. You don't have to be. You could join us. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. We have food, drinks, and beds. Wait, you live here? I thought this house was condemned. You have to be joking. This place is filled with dirt, mold, rotten wood. No one could live here. No, this old house is okay. It's got character, and it is perfect for playing our my favorite game, Hide and Seek. That's my favorite game, too. I'm glad to hear it. We should play sometime. You want to play now? Not now. I don't like to play in the dark. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't notice how dark it got. I should have been home hours ago. It's okay. Just stay here. Don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow. That's not what I mean. You can live with us. I have to go back. My little brother is there. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I hope. As you leave, you can't help but notice Violet's stay still and just watches you the whole time you walk back. And when you arrive home, Mr. Harmon is waiting for you with his arms crossed. Where have you been, young lady? I was just exploring outside. Exploring? We looked everywhere for you. You weren't in the garden, so where did you go? I should lie. I just went for a couple laps around the house. If you were around the house, I would have seen you. We probably just missed each other. But a moment now. You and I both know you're lying, and that won't be tolerated in this house without punishment. Should I go straight to my room? No. Punishment here involves work. Since you like staying out late, I have the perfect job for you. Go to the garden and make sure no gophers get in. Right now? Yes, right now. You like staying out late, so this is perfect for you. And if anything breaks in there, you'll be watering the garden for the rest of the month. There's hundreds of flowers in here. That would take all day. That's right. All day, every day, for the next three weeks. So you'd better keep the gophers out. His brow is furrowed. To avoid any further punishment, you head outside to start on Groundhog Patrol right away. You walk the garden for an hour, armed with a rake, to chase off the gophers, but you can barely see anything in the dark. Suddenly you hear a crash. That doesn't sound good. Stay put. Well, I'm definitely not going to see what the hell that loud crash was. 
I could chase groundhogs away, but whatever, that was sounding a lot bigger than a groundhog. You think about running home, but then that would alert whatever is roaming around in the dark to your whereabouts. I'll just stand right here. I could probably make it until the sun rises. You hear a sound in the distance. You turn around, and that's when you see. What the hell is that? Suddenly, the creature looks at you, notices you staring at it. I do. You're not as spooky as when you were in the house. Just saying. This is almost as fun as watching you sleep! You watch me sleep? Who are you? I'm the one who's going to release you from this world! Okay! Now that was kind of creepy. The woo! Creature runs towards you. You run away from it. You try to run as fast as you can, but you feel the hot air from the creature's mouth breathing down your neck. It's about to catch you. I'm not going to be able to escape. You look back, but when you turn your head, you trip and fall. Someone grabs your arm. Ah! What are you yelling for? There's something out there following me. Calm down, girl. I don't see anything. You look around, and there's nothing around anywhere. Where did it go? Something was just chasing me. There's nothing out here, Emily. Boy, maybe it wasn't a good idea to leave you out here alone at night. You think? Okay, you don't have to look for gophers anymore. Just help me take out the trash. Maybe I imagine that. Just like the other ghost, my, my mind is all over the place these days. You stick close to Mr. Harmon just in case the creature was real. Not so close, Emily. Here, grab one of the bags. You hold up the bag and it reeks something rancid. Why does it smell so bad? You're just like Mrs. Harmon. She doesn't like taking out the trash either. Okay, hold up the lid. You hold it up as he throws the trash inside. Close her up. Let's get inside. You're about to close the lid when you notice something. The bag is twitching. Something inside is twitching. What's the hold up? Oh, great. Something else where my mind is playing tricks on me. If I tell him, he'll have me committed to an insane asylum. Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Just making sure it's all in there. You shut the lid and follow Mr. Harmon inside. You ignore the twitching you saw. You ignore the sounds coming from the trash now. You pretend that your home isn't haunted and surrounded by mysterious creatures that want to hurt you. Besides, maybe tomorrow there won't be any problems. If only you knew. Are your new friends going to be the cure to your loneliness? Find out in the next chapter. I love it. I love it. It's perfect for... um. It's perfect because it's October. I love it. <sighs> so I'm trying to work on all this content as much as fast as possible. They released um this crap, which... Uh, and then there's this one. Our signature collection of sentence, single sentence tales. Send us yours a chance to share the spotlight. Submit your original works at submissions at... Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> I'm thinking about it. I might. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to take a look at what one of these looks like. I'll probably do a video on it here soon. But you can go ahead and hit this button in the app, and you can already start generating an email. Um, by the way, this is coming out for, um, oh, uh, what is it? Uh, Halloween, sorry. Mine skipped because I'm thinking about these two. Um, so we're halfway done with that. We've still got a long way to go with that. Uh, same with that. And we're halfway done with that. So I'm trying to get these done as fast as possible. We've done choices. We've done home suite. I've been doing some other stuff, trying to get content ready. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get all this done to share with you guys. Here's I'm not so keen on. A lot of people f pretty much feel the same way as me. But with that being said, stay tuned for other videos. Going to try and get as many done as possible while I have the, the one ticket. I've already done some of these. Like this one, I've already used a ticket. This one, used a ticket. We just did that one. And then Kidnapping the Princess. So I could do four more. Or, well, three. Technically? Yeah, I could do hit... I, I, I'm going to work on that, probably take a look at it with you guys. Um, that being said, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to hit that share button. Share with your friends, your family, let them come to the channel. See if they'd like the content as well. 
Also, head down to the description below. You can follow me on social media. If you've got any questions, you can feel free to ask me as well. And if you're feeling generous enough to support me and my content, there's a couple links for that as well down there. Until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you on the next haunting video, perhaps. <laughs>